Bill Gates said years ago a deadly virus was a grave threat. Today, the world is listening not only to Gates, but to another also influential voice. The coronavirus is a real thing. Kylie took action. Nobody's immune to this. Millennials are not immune to this. Just hours after the Surgeon General enlisted her help on nationwide television. He definitely encouraged me to come on here and talk to you guys so you could see me and hear me. The world's youngest self-made billionaire sent this message to her 166 million followers. Please stay inside, you guys. You might have it and not even know and be infecting other people. Um, it's serious, and the only way that we're going to slow this down is if we do this, since there's not a cure right now. The nation's top doc responded on Twitter. This is pretty cool. All kinds of people are doing their part to fight COVID-19. Shows like Grey's Anatomy, Station 19, and The Resident are banding together, donating much-needed supplies to healthcare workers. Today, there's a new update on Tom Hanks's condition. His sister told the Daily Mail, quote, he's not great, but still okay. He and his wife, Rita, are in self-quarantine after being released from the hospital earlier this week. Entrepreneur turned philanthropist Bill Gates gave a TED Talk in 2015 while the Ebola epidemic was raging. The streets of San Francisco have turned into a virtual ghost town after that city issued a shelter-in-place order. California's governor followed suit last night. Governor Gavin Newsom shocked Californians with that message, but our show and others are keeping everyone informed. ABC News is now doing a daily special in daytime with Amy Robeck on the coronavirus pandemic, and she's with us. As a breast cancer survivor, are you considered right pre-existing condition? Are you taking extra special precaution? I am taking special precaution. I'm missing 14 lymph nodes, so I know that anyone who's been through any kind of cancer treatment definitely is at an elevated risk. This daily special, how, um, how will it differentiate itself? We are here to bring viewers the latest information on the coronavirus. We are taking the politics out of this because I do think a lot of times when we're hearing from other news sources, at least when I'm consuming news, the last thing I wanna see is divisiveness. We're not doing that here. I think that there's so many things here that we need to think about. And most importantly, we need to stay informative, but positive. I agree. So this is a reset button, an opportunity to reset our lives and reset how we treat one another. But in the year 2020, perhaps the biggest source of information for young people comes from people like Kylie. We're gonna get through this together. We just have to listen to each other, respect each other, self-quarantine. Well, it's nice that Kylie Jenner, you know, responded to the Surgeon General. Dr. Dorian is back with us today. One thing people are not talking about is obesity because we have that here more than anyone else. Why is that such a huge problem? Yeah, that's a real big fear of mine. Um, all the other countries don't, aren't dealing with obesity like we are in the United States. And obesity really causes significant lung issues. You can imagine if you're compromised from your lungs and you're on a ventilator, all that weight on you while you're on a ventilator makes it so much more difficult for your lungs to heal and the potential for you to actually die from this increases. And we're not getting those statistics from the other countries because they don't have that problem we have here in the United States. We talked about ibuprofen being sort of an aggravator, um, Tylenol better. What about cough syrups? Is it good to use that or do you want to cough it out? Uh, no, actually cough syrups are beneficial now because you don't want to spread the illness. Right, keep you from shooting out the particles. Look, again, this is all symptom management. So if there is a particular cough medication that's always worked for you, definitely use it. Any information, new information on how long the virus lives on surfaces and which particular ones are worse? Yes, so we do know that plastic and stainless steel, this can live on for days. Um, copper, interestingly enough, kills it within four hours. And cardboard, about a day. I'm not trying to, again, create anxiety, but just think about that process, think about the way you're opening it, and just be careful. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.